Hi, this is Darman, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And in the last video, we uh, worked on the locking mechanism down here in Piggy's in the Piggy Bank uh, vault area. We've got it currently open right now. And uh, yeah, this is all done. The ceiling, walls are in here. We've got the room built uh, with some torches that are not in the right spot right now, which we'll get to. And we've got this big open area where we still have to put the, uh, the bank vault and so forth. Then we have a lot of this extra room over here, which, well, you can do whatever you want with it. If you haven't built it, if you haven't dug out that much, then no big deal. Uh, so we've got this area un underneath here, which is currently fairly poorly lit. Um, I'm just going to see if I can remedy that a little bit. Um, we're going to need some light down here to show what in the heck we're doing. All right, that's uh, that's good. That should that should help. All right, wow, these are all kind of lined up there. What's what are the odds of that? Um, okay, well, anyway, um, so uh, let's get to oh, drippy, very drippy up there. <laughs> yeah, it's very dangerous. Okay, so let's get to uh, putting the torches in the right spot. We'll get the redstone lanterns in the right spot today run the wiring and do this room over here. We're going to call this bank done. This is a big project, guys. This is a big, big, big project. All right, so, uh, well, let's start with the, the, the torches. On the uh, left side, this is the left, right? Yeah, left, not left, right. This is the right side of the left. This is the left side. Uh, so the uh, on the left and right side, it's the same. Uh, there just goes one in each corner and then one uh, directly in the middle, which looks like it'd probably be uh, there. One, two, three, four. There, one, two, three, four, there, and that'll work. Okay, so we take these out of here. We don't want to keep them there. So in here, we just want to go into the third block on each end. Uh, one, two, three, and that takes care of that. And then, like I said, this right side wall is the exact same as the left wall, so just put them in the corners. And that one kind of hides up there, and then one right in the middle there. And that's it. That is that is all the lighting this room gets until you start lighting up uh, the lanterns, which we're going to put in right now. So on the left wall, we're going to count nine to the right and up one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and up one. And it goes right there. So there should be two here and one empty one underneath. So let's, before I forget, I'm going to put the pressure plate on. I want to hear it. Okay, so on the back wall, then we're going to, let's see, this is at the sixth block from the left one two three four five six and then it goes up uh, to the third one one two three like that and on the right side uh, we're gonna go up here we're gonna count three to the left one two three and then go up one and that's that one so let's put those pressure plates on there and then we just need to do the one uh, that's sort of in the middle here. Uh, so that one is, if you go, if you're looking out to the, to the hallway, you're going to go to the sixth block, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then come into the sixth block, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that goes there. I don't know why I go all the way around that way. So there should be uh, five, one, two, three, four on this side, one, two, three, four, five on that side. And uh, uh, let me get out of this room back up. Where's the hole? Can I have a hole? Here? Okay, here we go. So that's 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 where they're going to be. So this one's pretty easy. That one is probably the hardest one back there if you've done this before. Because um, if you aim too high, it actually weirdly sort of hits this part that's sticking down. Uh, but yeah, that, that is definitely uh, the most challenging. So what we need to do is put holes on the other side of the wall so that we know where these uh, four... Uh, lanterns are so the easiest way for me to do that is just stand on this side knock that one out and then replace oh I don't have any more uh, stone bricks but I don't need the redstone lamps anymore so I'll just replace that that one so, so just leave that spot uh, same here just gonna knock out that one and then replace the one next to it now the the trickiest one of these is definitely this one uh, because I want to get the I want to get rid of the one underneath of that. I'm I'm knocking out a couple others just so that I can you'll be able to see what I'm about to do. Uh, we're gonna wire this one up first since it's the weirdest one, uh, and it's sort of only weird because you have to the the dispenser which is gonna be hooked up to all these. There's a dispenser hooked up to each one of these lanterns. Um, is 
right underneath of it, not right underneath, but it's actually, there's this one space, one block space underneath of it, but the dispenser faces this way. So this is, this is kind of key. And then get rid of the block underneath of it. Also a very important step here to get this. Otherwise the wiring, it's hard to fit the, the redstone under there. Redstone oh. alert, redstone oh, alert, Wow, I can't believe it alert. took that long for the redstone alarm to go off. Oh, I'm sure I must have said it before now. I did say redstone lamp. I don't know. I didn't pick up on it until... Anyway. So, anyway, yeah. So, we've got this sort of floating dispenser. And I did grab a dispenser, not a dropper, right? Okay, yeah. Um, so, what we want to do is... The only way to put... We have to put a blob of um, redstone on it. And you can't just, like, left-click because otherwise it just opens it, right? So, you have to crouch and then left-click and then it puts it on there. Um... So now if, if I were to put something on top of here, uh, let's just put that on there. Well, you see that lights up that redstone uh, right there. So let's get that back in there. All right, so this shoots, well, shoots nothing out right now. It shoots, uh, let's see, let's put some, uh, I got a big stack of dirt here in my inventory. I can just put that in there. Um, and then we wanna put a pressure plate right in front of it on the floor and we want to surround that pressure plate with, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I've got some stone on me, so I'm going to do that. And then um, that's, that's fine, just that pattern. So we want that to fire into this little, you know, alcove here. Uh, and we put these walls around it so that we make sure uh, that that, you know, piece of dirt doesn't, you know, fly way out here and doesn't trigger... Uh, the pressure plate that's under here so I'm just gonna put this back and then if I trigger this oop, if I step on this it should have thrown up okay there it is yeah you can see the block of dirt sitting there and we should be getting a redstone signal out of there oh I, I lost my red redstone here we go so if I put something here yeah see it's light up oh good and that torch isn't exactly the wrong spot oh we can move that over here that'll be good so now we have power coming out of this which is good um, we're gonna leave that there it's a, that'll eventually disappear in five, about five minutes I believe is what the timetable is so we're just gonna leave this redstone just we're gonna leave it alone for right now um, and we're gonna go get the next piece of redstone power that needs to come from this one so this is gonna connect to that central one then the other two on the other side are gonna connect and then we'll eventually be powering the door that we're going to put over here. Well, last time we did this, we put the door first to make sure that we have that set up right. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do the door first. And we're going to do that just by adding some uh, some quartz at the end of the hallway here uh, just temporarily. And uh, we can, well, we can actually, actually, we should build this doorway. And I'm looking at this realizing that I should have put um, some stone brick here. And here, so this doorway is kind of like double thick. Um, put some quartz here and here. Okay, so this will be the door. We're going to apply the steel doors from the outside, and we're going to point at the quartz when we place them. And by doing so, that's we need to put the redstone torches under the quartz. That is the way to get that to work. Now we've we've we don't really have anything dug out here, so I'm just going to kind of dig out a little extra. We don't need much, just like three blocks deep. And um, I'm going to leave the blocks that are right underneath here. That should, be, that should do it. So there's, I'm seeing three quartz blocks here in the dark. And so if I put redstone torches right under there, I should see these doors open. If I can just get, okay, good, yeah. So now what we have to do, our job will be to turn these two redstone torches off. Uh, so in front of this right in front of these two blocks we want to put redstone repeaters because we want the, the electricity to go straight in uh, and not try to touch each other here because that's that's one of the nice features of the repeaters and uh, i'm just going to use these let's kind of connect these up and bring it out to um i'm uh, just going to leave it right there for now uh so when we hook up to it, it it'll work actually what we need to do um let me see if i can do this here um, make this as compact as possible. I'm going to put, I'm going to take that out. I'm just going to have one redstone blob there and I'm going to put a block, one, one block away from that and this empty, leave this empty space here and I'm going to put a redstone torch on the side 
of that block, not, not in front of it, but on the side. And right now, what that'll do is it should have left our doors closed good. So now what we're going to do is our goal is to shut this one torch off with the last end gate that we do. So uh, once we do that, we'll see these two light up and we know, we'll know that our, our torches, uh, our doors are, are going to be uh, open. But that will only happen once we get all the um, redstone lamps hooked in. So let's get back to what I, oh, sorry about that. Get back to what we were doing over here. Uh, I'm going to need a little floor here to, to, to do this. So I'm just going to build this back up here. We don't need this any space anyway. Uh, okay, so right under here, we're going to be putting a pressure plate to catch. Actually, it's going to be, yeah, we're going to put the dispenser right in the hole that we made. It's going to drop, mm, let's see, I got some more dirt. Here we go. We got some more dirt there. Always good. And you can fill that completely up because that way you'll never, no way you'll probably run out, uh, in the near future. So around this, we want to again put our little, um, we want to make sure that that does not go anywhere except onto that pressure plate down there. So I'm even going to cap this off just to make sure, just to make doubly sure. And uh, it's kind of open right now, but I'm going to, I'm going to bring it down only one because the pressure plate is going to be triggered here and then the redstone is going to come out here. So I'm actually going to I'm going to build just a little bit of ledge down here and put some redstone dust coming coming out of there and um, we, we need to hook it up with this so it has to be, let's see, how are we going to do this? Um, I think the best way is we have, to, we have to put the gate somewhere out here so we have to send the power this way. Um, so let's just put it um, I think if we line it up with this edge here, that seemed to work last time I did this. Uh, so we're just going to use this stone here for the end gate. And gate. See, I said end gate. Uh, then we need to bring this redstone around and go into the back of it. And this is going to go, we just need to meet this up with this over here. Now I hope that doesn't, hmm. let me see if I can tell how far that redstone signal is going to go. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to reach over there. Try that again. Yeah, that's 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 okay. Now right, we put this back here. Uh, put that there. Okay, so now that'll trigger, and that'll go into this AND gate. Uh, so let's build our AND gate with the two torches, the blob in between, and on the outside. Outside. This is this is in. This is out because the power is going in on that side and out on this side. So we just need to uh, kind of run some redstone. Uh, probably have to snake around this a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Uh, because, because I know it has to go here because that torch is in the way. Because that's, that's how I roll. Uh, so this is going to go out here. This is going to power. This is going to go to the end gate that's going to be here. So I guess I can build this here. Yeah, I can just, I can build, um, I have to build it one, two, three blocks away from that one. And the reason for that is when we build this end gate, this one here, blob in the middle, redstone torch in the front. I have to have this one block of room here so that it, uh, can put the redstone blob there to make that line that goes into this block. So this, once this gets powered, that'll shut this one off. That will allow these to turn on to open the doors up there. Okay, so that I have that lined up uh, right there with the end of... Oh, that was weird. What is that? Oh, that's supposed to be a torch. <laughs> okay, so now the goal is to get these other two um, hooked up. And so let's do it. Uh, so let's see, on this one we're going to need a dispenser, and do we have any, uh, what do we got here? I don't really have, well, for my purposes, I'm just going to put one in there. That'll, that'll get the job done. Just fill it up. Just fill that up. And so we're going to need to come down. We're going to need to step down. Um, we could do, maybe come down this way. It's not the way I did it originally, so I know this is never going to work. Uh, if we can step down here, I think I'm need. 
Might need more room than this. Eh, maybe not. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Jeez. There's a hundred different ways to probably do this. Um, oh, no, I don't want to... What am I doing? I can't do that. I've got it. This has to drop down onto something, first of all. Um, so let's keep that at the floor level as well. Since we did it that way on the other one, I'm just going to put some additional pieces on the side so that I can build up uh, a little safety barrier there for the... Okay, so that's going to go under there. And then I'm going to build the little tunnel, the vertical tunnel. It's going to make sure that everything that comes out of that dropper gets down onto that pressure pl pressure plate. Uh, let's bring this down here and down there. So now we'll have redstone coming out of this. And we can we can make it turn this way. I'm not sure if we're going to run out of juice on this one. I'm just going to, on the side of caution, I'm just going to put a repeater in here. Uh, and then maybe we can dig down here. Oh, actually, I need to, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to need to build that up to make sure we can put the redstone dust here. And then I can go down a step a step here. Okay, let's, let's try that out. All right. All right, so we just need to put a dispenser on this side of it. And we're going to fill it with um, helmets? No. Oh, we've got some bread here. We'll put, we'll put bread in there. How about that? Don't put bread in yours. That's silly. Um, so again, I'm going to put a little extra flooring down here so that I can you know, just keep this consistent. I'm probably... Oh, I can I can dig that, like, one block of that out if I need to. And just build our little tunnel here. Whoops, that's okay. Doesn't matter. Um, so let's just cover this part up. Uh, like that. I don't need that one there. Pressure plate underneath and bring some redstone out here, I think. I'm going to bring this out one. I think this is going to make it a little easier. Uh, and then step down here and here. Oh, good. This is working out pretty good. We can do our AND gate right here, I think. <laughs> Let's find out. Um, we don't really... Since... Since the pressure plate's up here, we don't really need... Oh, no, I did. <laughs> I did need that one, because that's where the actual pressure plate was. Yay! Okay, there we go. All right, so don't get, do not get rid of that one. Uh, but I can get rid of that one, too, in case I need the room. Uh, so this is the redstone that's going to come out. Let's see, we want that to go into this. This one's going to come out. Uh, so that... Hmm, how am I going to... I need to wrap this around... Ooh, without touching. Okay, so we're going to have to back back these off a little bit. If we do this, if we put the end gate here. Oh, shoot. I need to um I need to bring this back this one and we'll move this back here and have it come down here. That'll be a little Oh, now that's happening. Uh yeah. Uh all right. All right, we're going to we're going to we're going to be that way. Let's just <laughs> let's just back this off a little bit. I had this all worked out, but then I I went with a slightly different plan, but that's okay. Uh so we'll just kind of bring it around there and um that'll work. So then we just going to put our and gate right in front of that, made of quartz apparently. And uh, there, put that there, blob in the middle and torch there and get rid of that okay so i just need to hook this up with this without yeah that's okay we can do it this way all right we just want those we do not absolutely do not want these to touch like that so that's that's a little squirrely looking but that's going to get the job done so all right so we've got something in every one of these uh dispensers so in theory if I go in here, how do I get in there now? Oh, the other side, yeah. I bet the door's closed, isn't it? Yes, the door's closed. All right, well, we'll have to, um, you know what? We're going to break in from this side just so I can get in there. And then, uh, so now, oh, I should, well, we'll wait just a minute. I was going to say we could close off this floor. So if, let's say we did a fishing arrow uh, thing and did hit this, and we hit that one. And we, I will right, we'll put something on there, 
and then step on this one now the gates should open yep there we go perfect all right so now we know this is working and we can close this floor up uh, carefully there we go and those are working and oh let me just take my little door back don't don't really need it but i don't need it floating up there either uh we can finish closing this off so now we've got a working vault door over here so uh only thing we have to do is here we want to put a little chest uh with some fishing rods in it uh let's see mm, let's just grab uh where are they oh, here we are fishing rod just put a bunch of them there uh the, the the chest should be filled with fishing rods but for our purposes uh, i'm just going to put a few in there so go ahead and fill those up in there and uh, da -da 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 -da. just fill that whole thing up uh, with fishing rods that's how he's got it so that should be right there on the end and there you go that's that room done so we, we are cooking here we just need to do this vault which is really simple and we need to get up to the surface and um, we're just going to keep going we could probably get two videos out of this but i'm i'm just not going to do it i don't i really because the last video is going to be like 30 30 seconds long if i do it that way um all right so we're going to get some quartz some pillar quartz and that's the main building blocks um let's just go with that for now well we're going to need eventually we're going to need some oh uh let's grab a um ender chest and i think, I think there's a regular chest in there somewhere although it, that changed i think that's not there anymore oh and we're going to grab some torches too because quite frankly we're not going to be able to see too much in here uh, in fact for purposes right now i'm just putting these uh, two torches here so this room is 11 i think 11 by 11 is that right let me see here no it's 10 by 10 uh that's what we're going to build around the edges so we've got uh let's see we've got already got four here so we just need uh four minus ten is six so three on each side one two three so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that does not interfere with anything so that's good uh so let's see this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and there we go if you're at the 28th block then you're in the right spot so let's just make this this is just a square so go ahead and square this up uh, the walls are going to go on top of this. This is obviously the flooring. So this is just the quartz block. Let's fill this flooring in. And let's put a couple of put a couple of torches around here just so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so that's the flooring and the walls are going to go right on top of that. Now they kind of have a pattern, not kind of, they do have a pattern of um, quartz and the, the, the columns. Uh, so in the in the corners are going to be just regular quartz. Uh, you're not going to see these corners. Uh, and inside, as you're standing on the floor, that's going to be the walls are going to be four high, like this. So on the top one, this is going to be the ceiling. So we're going to bring this all the way up to there. Uh, so let's just do all four corners, just so that I know where they are. And uh, right there, and there, and there, and here, here, here. And there okay so so we're not going to see these corners what we're going to see is whatever these two blocks are here uh, and as it happens this is just simply going to be columns next to what we already have here going all the way up oh and make sure you're like there's a, these are like logs so you have to make sure you're kind of pointed in the right way in order to get them to to sit right uh, and then it's just quartz blocks after that fill that in and on top of here this is just regular uh, quartz uh, and this level up here is where the ceiling is going to go uh, in just a bit so uh, again next to the next to here we're going to leave one this is going to be regular quartz and this is going to be a column uh, whoops here and then fill this in with regular quartz and so now that's that's the only wall that's that's like that the other three are identical in that there's going to be um two blocks of quartz one block of column two blocks of quartz one block of column two blocks of quartz and then that, of course that's the corner so we don't see that one so if we can do two then a block oops do it that way 
two and a column and a two and a column and just set this pattern up so that it's easy for us to go ahead and fill this all in okay yeah so two column two column and two and this this wall is a little different just because it's got the door uh, so that's how he decided to do it so and I agree I think that's the best way so let's just fill in the walls using the patterns that we've already set on the floor you know on the, the beginnings of the walls and uh, after that we'll come back and put the ceiling on with the walls done when it's uh, let's put the ceiling in and now the ceiling is I didn't mention this this is the chiseled quartz block I believe it's the one that looks it has that little has this texture to it uh, it's pretty cool little stuff so just that's just gonna go on the fifth level up which should be right up against uh, the ceiling that you have there so there should be four blocks high for the walls uh, so let's just put that in real quick uh, and then we're gonna put some torches in here because it is getting mighty mighty dark in here and uh, we want to fix that uh, so after this all we have to do is just uh, kind of build a little tunnel that goes up there's a tiny bit of redstone with some uh, pistons and um, Okay, uh, here's the easy part. Uh, basically, at the very top, just put a torch on every one that has a column. That's it. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as you guys say. And I heard a couple other ones. What was that? Um, no, nah, I'll have to think about it. Uh, some people are making up ones which are pretty wild ones. Um, all right, so I guess we can get rid of all these torches like that. And uh, are we locked in? Yeah, we're locked in. So it's just as well that we're going to build this next part. Um, let's see, we're going to need some. I'm going to leave this quartz in here just in case. We're going to need, well, we are eventually going to need some ladder. We're going to need some more hmm, stone bricks. And we'll, we'll get some torches on us. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to need some redstone stuff, like a uh, lever. Lever is going to go. Let's see, where am I? There's the door. Lower back left corner. Just put that there. Uh, so then we want these two blocks are going to be, um, let's make a little light out here, are going to be, they're, they're gone. And then these two blocks are the ones that are going to move back and forth by, by the use of this lever. So I'm going to have to uh, just temporarily just sort of knock out, not temporarily, but actually permanently knock out a little bit of this uh, so that we can make that work. Uh, I'm going to grab some sticky pistons and put them, we're not going to need that anymore. So we need the sticky pistons to attach right to the back of these two and we want them always extended except when this power comes on. So since they're not extended right now I'm going to have to make a little more room. <laughs> Make a little bit more room back here. I'm gonna have to move this useful torch to there. Okay, so we need to get power to these. Oh, what am I gonna use? All right, we'll just use this. Now again, if if you've got two uh, pistons, all you have to do is put power to the top one, and it's gonna affect the bottom one as well. So I'm gonna put a little step here and uh, grab some redstone. I don't need the chest anymore. Redstone's gonna go down. Actually, you know what we can do? What we could do is this. If I put a block behind it and put a redstone, why do I keep getting rid of that? Uh, put a redstone torch right, let's get rid of that. Here, that should act, yeah, okay. So that way, we only need to get power into this block and then that will will do it. We know the power is coming out of here and it needs to kind of get up into basically it needs to get up into here but it needs to be going in this direction so I'm gonna need to carve out yeah just a little bit more yeah, let's carve out a little, a little bit more after that um, but I need to make sure that the power does not get You know, if I try to try to do this, it's gonna already leap up here, and it's not gonna it's not gonna do what it's supposed to do. Cause see that line? It has to be going the other way. It has to be going into this block in order to to shut it off. So I'm just gonna put a repeater here to get the uh, power past there without having to having to get fouled up 
connected with the other thing. So let's see, I'll put this here. Make sure you're facing the correct way again. And then I'll just put some redstone dust around it. And there we go. So now it's coming around and it's going into that block. And I've gotten myself trapped. So I'm just going to knock out just a wee bit more. Hello, Cole. And oh, I'm still, I'm still sort of trapped. All right, I'm going to have to knock this out <laughs> uh, temporarily. So if we do this, there we go. So when it's up, it's extended down and uh, retracts. So there we go. And that that's, again, that's what that's about. We don't even really need this block there, but that's all right. Okay, so let's seal this back up. Um, let's see, block of quartz. Here we go. Put this there. That remains open because this is the part that moves back and forth. Uh, now down inside here, we need to... This is going to be the tunnel. So the tunnel is here, and it's going to go straight up right up against this wall and then around it are going to be you know the uh, there's going to be stone bricks all around it so might as well put those in uh, we don't need to look at that anymore and we'll just go up to there for now I know we have to dig higher but for now let's just put that up here and these three blocks are going to show and goodbye light <laughs> And we just need to put, there should be a oop, piece of smooth stone that we're going to put right at the bottom of this uh, shaft here. And I can't see a thing because, all right, let's put that there. Um, actually, that's a terrible spot right now because we got to put the ladders here. Uh, but let's talk about how hard we have to go. We should have to go... 15 blocks the whole shaft should be the inside of it should be 15 blocks high and then there's going to be the ceiling on top of that so what we've got so far is uh one two three four five right one two three four five so we uh obviously have to go up another 10 so let's do that one oh <laughs> well we've we've gotten into this open spot but if you would normally need to go up 10 <laughs> and um then uh we need to uh Kind of. Let's see. Which way do we have to go? Good question. I think. I think it's this way. All right. Let's back this up here. We're gonna be up here. Yeah. And then uh, the the ladder is gonna be behind me at this point. So if we're going up the shaft, it should be going. Yeah. It should be heading out uh, that direction. So let's see. Um, we're gonna need to. I'm gonna need to fill in. You may need to just keep drilling up until you get to the top here. I'm just going to bring these all the way up to where uh, this is the grass above us. And then we'll see where we are. We'll just count them and, and go from there. Um, it's probably, I'm guessing here. Uh, so let's see. Let's do it again. So this is uh, one two three four five six let's replace that one seven eight nine ten wait a minute i'm lost here hold on did i do the five first and then add the ten hold on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Oh, wow, look at this. i got to keep going up higher. No wonder this seemed a little weird. Um, okay, I've got to... For me, I've got to dig this out this way. I'm not sure what yours looks like. Uh, but I need to extend my column up a bit. Um, should be right up, probably right up to the ceiling. This is obviously right under the path, so that's good. We're, we're, in, we're in the right vicinity. And uh, this is going to get capped off up here, I'm sure. Uh, let's get a torch in here at least actually let's put it out here because we're going to have to put the ladders in here in a minute uh, let's just put this there for a second uh, whoop, don't want that uh, alright so we're, I'm going to count one more time down here uh, when you go in here you're going to go up the ladder and turn around to get out so that's you know we're going to be heading out this way in just a second so let's do this one last time here sorry about this um, This which side goes all the way up okay Got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm, maybe I wrote the right the wrong number down or I just miscounted that. But let's go let's go let's go break break this dirt wall and we can see this is where we should be right here. This is good. So just um Yep, perfect. I'm not sure what your terrain looks like here, but um I know we're gonna have to probably adjust this a little bit. Uh we're gonna knock out a couple of blocks there because we have to put a I have to put a sign there. I'm gonna need some dirt because I just, I just made a, kind of took out too much there. So, go out here and whatever right at the level of your grass, you know, water, that should be where you're standing when you come t out of the shaft, which should be. Um, let's make this easier. Go out here and there, and this last one. We're going to fill these in with brick here and leave the dirt obviously just do uh, brick everywhere else what do I have oh I got a torch there that's right okay so then all right so I need to fill in a little bit here and there's one block that needs to come out uh, where there's a torch going in here and I think I saw yeah I need to replace some of these with bricks uh, now leave the three white ones um, that's how Stampy did it and so that's why I left it there you could take out these two without any probably any no you probably know you'd have to the only one you could really take out is that top th you know the third one there but uh, like I said he's he's got that in there so I'm just going to leave it. So, but let's see. Uh, so, go up here. It should be the ninth block, is where the torch is going to go. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to knock this out, put a torch right here. And, um, oh no, <laughs> I did that. I am, I am sorry. I, I, it's not nine from the, from there. It's nine total from the bottom. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm going to turn and put it right there. And I'm going to need to um, add some stone around this to uh, in case in case this. So I'm just going to kind of break this temporarily. Add some extra stone around this. Oops. Around the side. I need to get back in there. Let's put some here. Put some back here. And uh, that'll that'll take care of that. And let's put this here and just fill all this back in uh, that we had in the first place. And that's fine. We can leave that there. All right. So yeah, the ninth block from the bottom. Uh, if you're facing away from the ladder, that's where that should go. Uh, so there should be like uh, three more here. And there we go. And we just need to uh, get me out of here. All right, let's put a door on front of. Oops, wrong one. Put a door in front of this. Uh, let's see where we got here. All right, why is everything moving so slow? The door goes right like that. And we want to put a sign next to it. And let's grab a sign. And the sign is going to say, of course nothing to see here capital N the other ones are not capitalized and then there's uh, of course a period at the end here so let's go down a little shaft here we need some ladders on here um, need to cap that off there and let's put some ladders in here uh, whoops okay uh, oh I hate putting ladders when I'm in the shaft it's really hard Alright, let's do up, up, up. Uh, oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, we can do that like that. And there we go. Okay, now that should be our secret exit. Done. I'm trying to get back down there so I can make sure everything's still working. Let's see, let's close this. Good. And uh, so now we just have to put some treasure in here and we're, we'll be done. I do love the texture of that ceiling. Okay. So we're going to
clear my inventory. I'm going to grab, let's see, the last, uh, on the 300 video, uh, the only thing left in there right now is some uh, gold, some, why is this going so slow? Gold, some diamond, uh, there was an iron block in there, where's the iron block is over here, and uh, so there was some cake, uh, where you go? And a ender chest. Not moving faster. Ender chest, and that's it, really. Oh well, inside the ender chest are um. Where are those these days? Okay, it's going to be some diamonds and and uh, gold, I believe. Uh, yes, diamonds and gold. Uh, okay, so. Let's see, we're going to start in the back here. There uh, should be a block of iron. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four to the left on this. One, two, three, four, right there. And then a block of gold to the right of it. And then we're going to come back to, and to the right one, there's a diamond one there with a cake on top of it. And from this one, we're going to come backwards four, one, two, three, three, four, and put a diamond one there, and there's a gold one that's right across from it, basically in the same spot, just one block away from the wall, and there's the ender chest, which goes right, let's see, uh, 30 blocks away from the block of iron, and that's all that's left in here, there was a lot more earlier, and there was, I know there was a regular chest here, and some other things, but um, this, I'm just kind of going off what was on the 300 video, um, and so in here, what you need to do is, to, oh, oh <laughs> that must be in some other ender chest, because there's only, you can only have one ender chest in your world, so uh, whatever you fill up, whatever we fill up here is going to appear in every ender chest that we have, so, which is handy to make a quick withdrawal uh, from anywhere uh, in Stampy's Lovely World. Uh, so this is going to be a alternating pattern of uh, diamond and gold, uh, so... Let's see, can I do it this way? I don't know if I can... I don't know, I'm going to have to um, actually grab a full stack. I'll just grab, yeah, I'll just grab a full stack of diamond. And gold will fit on there, so that'll be, make it easier to spread around. So start with diamond, and then just uh, alternate each one. Uh, and then just kind of make this little checkered board pattern and, and fill the rest in with gold and uh, I think we're out of here um, it's okay do it that way there and there oops no nope, stay there and I did it okay yeah we're almost done the bank yay okay so that should look like that should look like this now right yep okay perfect Okay, uh, what did I forget? Mm, let's see, we got torches, we got walls, and I can't get out. Oh, I got some. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to break this door a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot, because uh, I have got to get back here and fix this. There's this big hole here. This, this is unacceptable. Somebody's gonna comment that I left a humongous hole uh, in my hallway. Put these there, there, and there. And again, there's no, there should be no torches here. Now, here's the funny part about uh, this, this, um, this vault. Uh, let's say you got all the way in there, and like us, you got trapped, and, you, and then you left through the through the hatch upstairs. But that leaves this door wide open for any, you know, this is one lock that is completely useless. And if anybody came in here, they wouldn't even have to guess. Uh, as far as where, you know, they don't have to get the combination, the doors are already open. So, I think this is kind of a, if you could call it a design flaw. Um, if you go in there, into the vault, and come back out this way, then, you know, then, then the real problem is that you're probably stuck down here because you can't get back up through there. So, there's some, there's, uh, you know, a couple of issues that you, you could work on for yourself if you wanted to try your hand at it. Uh, the suggestion I would have if you really wanted to deviate from this to make it maybe work a little better is to turn these into buttons and behind here 
do um, kind of like what we did down in here, just use dispensers to, um, right, I'm going to break this open temporarily, you know, use dispensers to hit pressure plates that would activate the redstone um, here and here. And um, same on the other side. And then from that point, it's not really any different. You know, the redstone is going to go down there and open up the doors. That way, it's just temporary. Uh, but then you'd have to figure out a way to activate that line. That wouldn't be too bad. That wouldn't be too horrible. You could put a button out here that would you'd press it and it would maybe light up. Uh, maybe it would go right to here. You know, maybe a button would be over here or something like that. And then the redstone would go, uh, power would go into here and again open up. Hmm. I don't know. But then you need power from both sides. And I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to work it out. But. Uh, this is the way Stampy did it, so this is the way we're recreating it. But I just wanted to kind of throw that thought out there that, you know, right now we are kind of unsecure, really, as far as, you know, as, as a real bank vault. Uh, and then it leaves the problem of getting back up here, which, again, it could probably be achieved with a you know, button like we did in the secret chamber of the uh, uh, secret base. And you could probably put a button here that would eventually, you know, send redstone signal up here. But... Uh, for the purposes of this video, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we are just going to end it over in the vault. If I can remember, let's see, top, middle, lower, right, left, middle, lower, right. Bingo. Okay. All right. We did this room. And uh, let's give this a quick test to go. Um, get rid of my inventory so I can get this fishing rod. All right, there we go. All right, so let's uh, let's do the hard one first. Can we get that? Uh, yeah, I gotta kind of uh, maybe aim down just a little bit more. Mm, maybe at an angle over here. Oh, it's really close. Ah, oh, come on, get on there. Oop, too far, too high. So you can see it kind of like bounce up. Oh man, come on. Hmm. I have the hardest time with this one. Can we just pretend I did it? <laughs> okay. Mm, I'm about to. I'm about to cheat if I can't get this. Do I going back farther? Is that helpful? No, not really. Let's try. Let's try a different angle. That's why I'm doing this one first, so the other ones don't go out by the time. Ah, oh, come on! I've done this. I've done this before. Come on, get in there. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Man, it looked like I was about to get that one. <sighs> this is this is ridiculous. All right, let's try it. Let's try it again from this angle. I don't know why. For some reason, I seem to remember this one working better. Ah, uh, come on. This is killing me. I'm sure it's killing you, too. Up a little bit higher. Up a little bit higher. Nope, too high. Uh, too high. Ah, come on. Maybe straight on is the way. I don't... Oh, all right. I got it. That one. You should be a piece of cake after that one. That and this middle one is kind of gives me a little... There we go. All right, doors open. Bing! All right. Doors will close momentarily. I guess I need to release the fishing rod. I can go out here. I can close this door. Go up, up, up. There's our little torch, and we're out. Bingo. There we go. We are out. Nothing to see here. Well, that is the bank built. Wow. Whew, that was rough. That that was rough. Okay, so I am Darman68. I am gonna be on vacation. You may not see if any videos for me for a few days till uh oh gosh. Mm, maybe next Monday or Tuesday, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy my vacation. I'll be thinking about you guys, and I'll be checking up uh, on still on my comments and so forth. So keep the comments coming, and I'll try to stay in contact with you. I just won't be able to upload, upload any more invoices. After, invoices Upload any more um, videos until I get home. So I'm Darwin68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!